Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Henry Vernon from ACC Driving School. I'm gonna try to give you a, a quick update on, on some of the things that is happening at the DMV and try to answer some of the questions that I get asked all the time. As far as appointments are concerned, I honestly don't think there'll be any relief in, in, in any time in the near future. Appointments are generally one to two months out. And uh, I don't see a relief in sight because it's been like that for a long time. And I expect it to continue exactly like that. Um, the reason they're giving is that there's a lot of people moving to Florida and they've just never cleared up the backlog from COVID. Okay, as far as walk-ins are concerned, most of the DMVs are doing walk-ins, but they are actually quite unpredictable in, in that they, they'll be doing walk-ins this week and they won't be doing it next week. Uh, one week they'll be doing 10, they'll be taking the first 10. One week they'll be taking the first five. Some weeks you go on there, they're not taking any walk-ins at all. So I, I've experienced all, all of the three different scenarios. Um, yeah, the, the, the DMV is unpredictable at best right now as it relates to the changes when it comes to appointment and, and how they operate. All right, another question. Let's get into the question, by the way. People are constantly asking me, do we have the parallel park on the test? Florida had parallel parking on the test. They stopped doing parallel parking on the Florida test more than 20 years ago. So it, 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 I, I am not sure why people still think that the parallel parking is on the test. It's not on the Florida test. It hasn't been for more than 20 years. Okay? Another thing people are asking me is, um, do you have to reverse into the parking space? No, they don't make you reverse into the parking space. It's usually you're parking from the left side into the parking, into coons, regular parking. You, you, you stay on the right side, you park on the left. Uh, people are all also asking me if they're making you park from the right. Generally speaking, no, you don't see that often. Is it possible? I suppose anything is possible, but they generally don't make you park from the right. Um, what else? People are asking the questions. Again, every single one of my videos, I go over what the questions are that they're going to ask you. And I'll do it again right here just because. They're going to ask you if you're parked facing uphill, what direction do you turn the steering wheel? The answer is left away from the curb. Again, if you're parked on a hill facing up, what direction are you supposed to turn your steering wheel? The answer is left away from the curb. What else do you do? You put the car in park, you pull up the parking brake, and you turn off the ignition. Again, you put the car in park, you pull up the parking brake, and you turn off the ignition. They're not asking you if you're, if, if you're parked going downhill. At least most of them will not ask that. But if they ask you about downhill park, the answer is right towards the curb. If uphill is left, then it's only common sense that downhill is right. So if you park facing downhill, you turn right towards the curb. But again, they prob probably won't ask you that. Another bit of information that I just f learned myself personally. If you have a, a reverse camera in your car, they don't want you using the camera. You're supposed to turn around and look behind you. They also don't want you using the, the mirror, the side mirror, the rear view mirror. They don't want you to use it. If, if you're reversing during the driving test, they do not want you to use the mirrors or the camera. If you use the camera, I was told that you'll get eight negative points. So you will lose eight points if you use the reverse camera, okay? And considering that you're only allowed to get negative 30 points, you wouldn't want to lose eight points from any one thing. On the three-point turn, you can lose a possible eight points. If you don't signal, you signal twice. People are always asking me if you signal when you're going backwards. No, you signal when you go forward twice. You go left twice, you signal left 
twice. Okay? You go forward to the left, signal. You reverse to the right, no signal. You go forward to the left again, you signal. So that's left, right, left. Two times for the three point turn that you're supposed to signal. And you can lose a possible eight points. If you don't signal, when they tell you to make a left or a right turn, if you don't signal, you will lose four points for each one. If you, when they tell you to park in between the cones, if you don't signal, you will lose four points. So just keep that in mind. Four points for every time that they that you don't use your 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 turn signal. So please make sure you use the turn signal. Uh, what else is there that I, I need to say? Yeah, the the, the driving test is, is is simple, extremely straightforward, but technical. They want you to do these simple basic maneuvers, and you know if if you can do them, it, the test is about seven to eight minutes. So it's not like a really big deal. Seven to eight minutes. If you can do these things that they're gonna ask you to do, which is covered in all of my videos, by the way. I have videos on the channel that shows you step-by-step step what the DMV driving test would be at all of the locations in Broward. I cannot say what locations they are, but if you know the areas, you will be able to tell what, the, what videos are from what location. So, I'm gonna suggest that you watch the videos and prepare for the, the driving test. That's it, just watch the videos and prepare for your driving test. And you should be fine, all right? Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.